Well, lucky old me, I've got two Twitch stories in the space of one week. Fear not though, as this story is a separation from hate raids and why you should take a day off. For those who are fortunate enough to get subs on Twitch, some of you may be experienced with users refunding their subscriptions. Now, while bit there isn't actually anything wrong with this practice, there are individuals out there who take this to an extreme level. For example, when a user buys a large amount of subscriptions and shortly refunds it later on, usually with the intention to A, get the attention of the stream streamer or B, just be less than pleasant. The whole refund option hasn't been around for the longest period of time. It actually kicked off earlier in the year around March and works in the following way. If you buy a subscription or multiple subscriptions and feel you've made an error, you're given 24 hours to refund the purchase. And while in one camp this is quite the useful consumer tool, in another it's just a tool that's used to feed the trolls. Now personally I haven't seen too many examples of this being used in the wild, but it does sound quite reasonable that this actually does happen. Either way, it looks like Twitch has taken on the feedback from various parties around this issue. Because on Twitter they stated, Hey creators, thanks to your feedback we have revamped our refund process to better prevent misuse. This will help us protect your revenue while allowing legitimate refunds to be handled quickly for those in your community who need them. Additionally, on top of this, they're also potentially adding an option for users to give feedback on why they have actually stopped their subscription. They tweeted out saying, You've let us know that it's important to know the reasons that your viewers might need to cancel their subscription to help you plan or make improvements to your channel. We are working on this and would love your suggestions. This of all the changes is probably the most interesting because on their support portal where you can give feedback on potential changes there's been several replies. Top and the most interesting of them is actually a statement to say don't show this information to creators. It reads do not display this to creators. This will lead to resentment from creators towards viewers and it's really nobody's business why someone chose to opt out from recurring subs. People stating, this would crush small streamers, it would hurt their confidence in streaming overall. This is just not a good overall idea. I guess this one just boils down to how personally do you take streaming and how do you view your relationship with your viewers. The next most popular feedback however is completely in the opposite camp and reads as the following. It is exceptionally helpful to know if people are unsubscribing due to factors outside of our control, such as a viewer's financial or schedule changing, or within our control, such as the streamer's schedule change or experimentation with new content. This would help alleviate the stress of wondering if unsubscriptions are something we can affect as streamers, or if it is primarily beyond our control, which would greatly decrease some of the mental burden and worry of never knowing for sure why people unsubscribe. This data collected via an anonymous drop-down menu would be incredibly helpful so streamers can best navigate their future decisions. And the drop-down, and I won't read them all, but they just include things like My finance has changed, I subscribe with Prime and I periodically switch who I use it upon and the streamer doesn't stream often enough. Personally, I like the idea of a drop down. It allows people to give some feedback, but it also restricts people in being quite malicious with their replies. Because you know, although there is a good intention here, some people are just gonna be absolutely awful in their feedback. Currently, only the review policy update has been put into place. So if you are someone who's gone through this, then you should expect some changes relatively soon. The feedback process is still in the works, and I'm sure with more time, we should get some more information on this later down the line. For now, let me know if you've been impacted by any of these policy changes. Do you think these are good ideas coming from Twitch? Do you think we should keep this information from streamers to avoid resentment? Or we should give more data to the streamers so they can make informed choices? It's a really interesting topic and I hope to hear from you soon. But for now, have a great day and I'll catch up with you all later.